Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Coker. Before we do today's lesson, I want you to try something. Pause the video here and get a piece of paper and a pencil. Make sure it's a pencil, make sure it has a really good eraser on it. All right, now take that piece of paper and draw a number line all the way across the paper. It should look like this. If you need to, pause the video. Once you have that number line, label the ends of it with zero and one. Again, if you need to, pause the video. Now, the next part is going to be tricky. Remember, it is okay to make mistakes. When people make mistakes and learn from them, their brain gets smarter, their brain gets a new wrinkle, and wrinkles in our brain are a good thing. So now try this. Think about that number line and think about where the fractions one-third, one-half, and one-fourth would be located on that number line. Pause the video here and mark those spots. All right, boys and girls, we'll talk about those fractions again in a little bit. Put your paper to the side and enjoy the show. In celebration of today's beautiful weather and all that we are thankful for, Jackson, Reagan, and I decided we are going to have some thankful turkey races. As you can see behind me, there is a racetrack. The start of the racetrack is down at this end and the finish line is down here. And the goal of this race is to see whose turkey, Reagan's or Jackson's, can travel farther along the racetrack. All right, Jackson, we are ready for you, but I forgot to mention one important rule. If the turkey leaves the track, we mark the last point that he was on the track, and that is the distance he traveled. So whenever you're ready, sir, you may race your turkey. Reagan, scoot over, kiddo. All right, Jackson Coker. Oh my. All right, Reagan. So remind me, what fraction of the track did your turkey travel? One fourth. One fourth of the track? All right. Your turkey traveled one half of the track. So based on that, whose turkey traveled farther? The turkey that traveled one fourth of the track or the turkey that traveled one half of the track? One fourth because four is being like two. Okay. Whose turkey do you think went farther, yours or Jackson's? Jackson's. Boys and girls, what do you think? Do you think Jackson's turkey traveled farther or Reagan's turkey? Boys and girls, Jackson raised a really important point when he was saying that he won the race because his turkey traveled one fourth of the track versus Reagan's who traveled one half of the track. Now he made a mistake in his thinking, but this is a really important mistake because this is a mistake a lot of kids make. They see the number four, which is bigger than the number two, so they think one fourth is bigger than one half. But this does not represent the number four. This actually represents a relationship. The entire distance of the track was broken into four parts. We are looking at the relationship of these two numbers. So this fraction says that Jackson traveled one of those four lengths. Now, the length of the whole track can be thought of almost as a number line. This is the zero point or the starting point of our number line. We travel the whole distance and when we get to the entire length, we've traveled the whole way or one, one whole length. Now let's start with Reagan's fraction. Reagan's distance that her turkey traveled is a little bit easier to mark on the number line. Use this tape measure to represent it. I fold it in half and here we go, this is the halfway point. So this point represents a distance of one half of the track. So if we start at zero, by the time we get to this point right here, we have traveled a distance of one half of the track. Now to check that, I realize that two halves is equal to one whole, as in one whole track. So let me use my arms to represent that and check it. So here is a distance of one half, by the time we get down here, this is a distance of two halves or one whole. Now Jackson's is a little bit more difficult. Let me see, if I could imagine folding this whole distance into four equal parts, I would say that the first fourth would be, I don't know, maybe about right here. Now remember, I need to get four fourths into this whole distance in order to have four fourths equal to one whole. So let's check this, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Ooh, yikes. 
four fourths, it's not there. We have to get four fourths to be at the same point or equal to one whole length of the track. So let me try this again. One fourth, two fourths, I think that's going to work. Let me just mark that there for a second. Three fourths, four fourths. Very good. This time I made four fourths land at the same point as the one hole. So that means it is equal to one whole length of the track. So here is one fourth. So as you can see here, Jackson's turkey traveled one fourth of the length. Reagan's turkey traveled one half of the length. So Reagan's turkey is the winner. Boys and girls, at the beginning of this video, I asked you to draw a number line and label the points where you thought one third, one half, and one fourth would be located on it. Now that you've watched the video of me, Reagan, and Jackson, see if you need to make any changes to your number line. When you are done, show your number line to a grown up and talk more about if you need to make any changes. Remember, mistakes are a good thing, they help our brain grow wrinkles and help us get smarter. Enjoy your day, boys and girls.